Good morning, welcome to Work Out with Katie. Today we're going to be using resistant band and new band. So you're going to need a chair, indoor running shoes, and a yoga mat. Let's come to a comfortable seated position, sitting up nice and tall. Close your eyes for a moment. Shoulders on top of hips, stomach and chest proud. Relax for a couple of breaths. Now we're going to inhale the arms up above the head. Turn the palm out, exhale down. Deep, deep inhale through your nose and deep, deep exhale through your nose. Whenever hold our breath. Inhale the length of the spine. Exhale down. Hands on the thighs, sitting up nice and tall. Stretching out the neck first, ear to shoulder, extend your opposite arm out. Using the same hand, you guys, support the head. Lengthening, stretch. Relieve any tension that you may have. And we're going to stay here for three, two, one. Slowly, slowly come back to center. The other side, ear to shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand, you guys, support the head. Stretch. If you have any stiffness in your neck, any clicking sound, just stay here for a little bit longer. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Take an inhale, the center, exhale, turn over the right shoulder, only go to where you're comfortable. Inhale, center, exhale to the other side. Slowly come back to center, chin up, head back. And then chin to chest. We'll do it again. Inhale, center, exhale to the right. Inhale, center, exhale to the left. Slowly come back to center, chin up, head back. And then chin to chest. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Shoulder stretch, right arm up and across, pull back. Creating resistance. Chin is away from the body, looking forward. Slowly, slowly with the same arm up, we link the first. Place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide up. Tricep stretch. Chin up, looking forward. If you can bind hands behind your back, go ahead, bind your hands behind your back. Slowly, slowly release, shake it out. The other side, arm up and across, pull back. Creating resistance, chin is away from the body, looking forward. Pull back. Slowly release, same arm up, lengthen, place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide up with tricep stretch. If you can bind hands behind your back, go ahead, bind your hands behind your back. Don't worry if you're not able to do this. Slowly, slowly release, shake it up. Hands on the shoulders, elbows in, elbows up. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Feel the pinch your shoulder blades, opening up lung, heart, chest. Oiling the shoulder joint, improving your posture, increasing lung capacity. And then we're gonna go into a full circle, try to bring the elbows close together. Continue with the shoulder exercise. And reverse. Slowly, slowly come back to center to release. Hands in the thighs, sitting up nice and tall. Coming into a side bend, inhale your arms up, palm touch, release index finger, grow tall. Exhale, come to a side bend. Outside hand, grab hold the inside wrist. Chin is away from the body, looking up. Inhale, turn long. Exhale to the other side. Outside hand, grab the inside wrist. Chin is away from the body, looking up. Slowly come back to center. Lengthen the spine and center. Exhale to the other side. Release the bottom arm. Top arm is the crescent moon. Slowly, slowly come back up. Lengthen the center. Exhale to the other side. Bending the lower arm, top arm is a crescent moon. Side body long. Slowly come back to center, lengthening the spine, center, exhale, twist, opposite hand, opposite thigh. 
Wrap the back arm around your waist. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulders. Look at the back, turning the neck as well. Using the front hand to help you turn a little bit more with each exhale breath. Slowly come back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm up. Forming a crescent, looking up. Slowly, slowly release the other side, opposite hand, opposite thigh, the other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder, look at the back, turning the neck as well. Using the front hand to help you turn a little bit more. Slowly come back to center, don't let go of the front hand, inhale the other arm up, forming a crescent, looking up. Slowly, slowly release, shake it out. Do a few round of wrist rotation. 10 times one way, 10 times reverse. Forward, backwards, bagging dog. Change like that, well. give it a shake. And then shake, shake, shake. Now we're gonna grab the loop band. So pick one that you would like to work on today. Loop it on your forearm. Adjust your posture, sitting up nice and tall. Small little open shut. Feel the resistance. So as always, we listen to our body to avoid injuries. Take a break whenever you need. Have a sip of water and join us when you can. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. And your arms up above the head. Small little open shut. Shoulders are relaxed down from the ears. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking forward. Couple more breath here. And slowly, slowly release. Shake it up. Loop it on one shoulder, doesn't matter which one. Opposite hand, grab a hold of it. The other hand, loop the thumb through, and we're gonna extend. Now you can sit facing me. I'm just going to give you a side view. Extend your arms up. Control your movement always. Nice and slow. No need to speed up. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Slowly release, switching side. Opposite hand, grab hold the opposite band. The other hand, loop the thumb through. And we're gonna extend. Now when you release, nice and slow, make sure the band doesn't snap into you. Check your equipment regularly. And the band may break through wear and tear. So make sure it doesn't snap into you. Let's do another four. Three. Two. And one, very good, slowly, slowly release. You shoot the arrow, hook the thumb through, the other hand pull back. Even if you can do a little bit, that's perfectly fine. Extend your arm, shoulder height, shoot the arrow.
Let's do another four. Three, two, and one. Very good, switching side. You don't have to sit sideways. I just want to give you a side view. Stabilize yourself. Square the hip to the front. When you're ready, pull back, shoot the arrow. Extend your arms. Shoulder height. You can just do a few inches. That's perfectly fine. Know your range of motion. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Very good. Slowly release. Shoulder roll in between set. Alternating. Go the other way. Reverse. Slowly release. Bring that behind your back. One arm stationary, the other one pull. So I also give you a back view. Let's do another four, three, two, and one, switching side, wrap the back arm around your waist, the other hand extend. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Very good, shake it up. Now we're gonna bring it behind our body. Now this is the shorter loop bend, so we still wrap one arm behind our back. Pull up the top arm. Sitting up nice and tall waist. Chin is away from the body, looking forward. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Release, switching side. Wrap the back arm around your waist. The other arm, pull up. Try your best. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. Loop it on your thigh. Adjust your posture. Palm facing up. And we're gonna pull it up. Tuck the elbow close to your body. When you release, nice and slow. Now 
Let's do another four. Three, two, and one. Very good. Switching side. Take your time to set up. Set up tall. Palm facing up. Tap the elbow close to your body. And pull it up. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. Place both legs into your band. Sit up tall. So the band are on your thighs. We're open. Toes are pointed out. In, toes are pointed in. Strengthening the quarter set. Stretching out in the thighs. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly come back. Move the band down to your calf. We're going to inhale up, point the toes up, exhale down. So whatever you do, don't lean back. If you need back support, I'm sitting about two-thirds of the way on my chair. So you can always place a pillow, a cushion behind your back for support. We're not kicking. Use your core abdominal muscle for this. You can either have your hands in your thighs or holding on to the chair for support. Inhale up, exhale down. Go at your own breath and your own pace. Let's do another four. Three. Two. And one. Catch your breath here, small little open shut. Walking the entire leg from the hip joint to the feet. Strengthening the entire leg. Building up the quadricep muscle to support your knees, especially if you have knee issues. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly come down. Adjust your posture. We're going to place one foot into the band. Take your time to set up. We're going to inhale up, exhale down. Once again, control the movement. Not kicking. Continue to stretch hamstrings.
Now we're gonna add something. We're gonna to come to a wide leg as well, stretching over in the thighs. Only open as wide as you're comfortable. Inhale, knee up, extend, open, close, down. Knee up, extend, open, close, down. Continue. Let's do two more. And one last one. Slowly, slowly release, switching side. You ready? We're just gonna do the leg up first. Now we're at the open. Feel the stretch in your inner thighs. You don't have to open up very big. Be mindful of anyone who has hip issues or any issues at all. Inhale, knee up, extend, open, close, down. Knee up, extend, open, close, down. Continue. Let's do two more. And one last one. Slowly, slowly release. Just a remove. Do a few round of shoulder roll here. Release tension. Ankle exercise. Point and flex. Shoulders on top of hips. Dummy and chest proud. Pumping blood back to your heart. Helping your circulation. Reduce swellness. Increase flexibility, mobility in your ankle joints. One up, one down. Strengthening the ankle joint so it's not so easy to slip and fall and twist your ankle. Side to side. Now you can do this ankle exercise lying down in bed, sitting down on the chair, or lying down on your yoga mat. Circle. Strengthening the ankle joint so it's not so easy to slip and fall and twist your ankle. Go the other way. 
If you sometimes experience leg like cramp, you can do this as well and see if it is going to bring you some relief. Slowly, slowly release. Setting up nice and tall here. And then we're going to do wind releasing on the right side. Wrap your hands around the right knee. Draw it close to the chest or armpit. Give it a good squeeze. Be gentle with your body. Inhale, relax, exhale, squeeze. Massaging organs on the right side as well as the sending colon. So my left is your right, I do mirror image. Let's do another four. Three. Two. And one. Give it a good squeeze. Continue to massage internal organs. And then release, repeat on the other side. So my right is your left. Grab your hands around the knee. Draw it close to the chest or armpit. Give it a good squeeze. Inhale, relax, exhale, squeeze. Massaging organs on the left side. So that will be the sending colon for you. So the big colons go from right to left. Be gentle with your body. Inhale, relax, exhale, squeeze. Now we're gonna draw it close to the chest. Give it a good squeeze for four, three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. And we'll cross the ankle, coming into figure four, opposite ankle off the thigh, flex the foot to protect the knee. Make sure both butt are sitting down. And we're gonna have the hands on the knee depart. We never press on the knee joint or the ankle joint to avoid injury in your joint. Slightly lean forward. You're going to immediately feel the stretch here. Hip flexor, opening up the hip joint, helping people to release sciatica condition. You adjust your own weight. So don't put the entire body weight on this. And we're going to stay here for four. Three, two, one, slowly, slowly rise up. Repeat on the other side, opposite ankle, opposite thigh. Flexing the foot will protect the knee. Hand resting on the thigh. Never leave the entire body weight. And make sure your hand is on the meaty part. We never press on the knee joint or the ankle joint. Both but are sitting down. You're going to immediately feel the stretch here. This hip flexor, opening up the hip joint. So if you find that you have been sitting a little bit longer, and try this figure four and see if it is going to help you open up the hip joint, relieve sciatica condition. Let's stay here from four, three, two, one, slowly, slowly rise up, release. And we're going to come to a twist. So we're going to cross the knee, no space between the knee. Opposite arm, opposite knee. So we're going to inhale the other arm up. Opposite, opposite. Bring your hands to heart center. Stomach not resting on the thigh. Turn and look at the top elbow. Now you can stay here if you want to open up the arms to bring more resistance. Go ahead. Looking up. Slowly, slowly release. Repeat on the other side. Passing the knee over, no space between the knee. Opposite arm, opposite thigh. Bring your hands to your heart center. Press the palm together. Turn and look at the top elbow. Stomach not resting on the thigh. If you want to open up the arms for more resistance, go ahead. Slowly, slowly release. Hands on the thighs. We're going to get ready to come up. So we're going to come to standing. Take water if you need. From here, we're going to go into cat and cow. Spread all your fingers. Wrists underneath the shoulder. Ankle and hips are aligned. Going into cat and cow. Inhale, drop your belly, chin up, look up into a cow. 
So round your belly as much as you can. Pull your belly tight, looking that into a cat. So we're going to do this a few times at your own breath and your own pace. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movement. Creating spaces between water rays. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Only the spine is moving, connecting your breath with your movement, creating spaces between vertebrates. Two more. And one last one. Slowly, slowly come back to neutral, swaying side to side, release tension in your wrist. We're going to take an inhale and send it, exhale to open up the right hips, squeeze the shoulder and hip together. Inhale, center, exhale to the left, forming a C shape in your spine. Inhale, center, one more set, exhale to the right, let the hip drop. Inhale, center, exhale to the other side. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Take your time to rise up to stand. Shake it out. Hamstring stretch. So you can either have your legs on the floor or you can have it on the chair. If this is too high for you, place the leg on the floor. Shift the weight to extend the leg. Square the hip to the front. Inhale your arms up to leg. Exhale, we hinge. Grow long. Holding on to end of the foot, the legs on the chair. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Neck is long, spine is straight. We're going through the stretch here, hamstring. If you have very tight hamstrings, slightly bend the knee. Walking the standing leg and ankle as well. And we're going to stay here for four, three, two, and one, slowly, slowly rise up, release. Alternate, bending your knees, mountain climbing. Release any tension that you may have. And we're gonna repeat on the other side. Point the toes up to the ceiling, square the hip to the front, shift the weight to the standing leg. Inhale your arms up to lengthen, exhale hinge, roll longer, holding on to any part of the foot, the leg, or the chair. Chin up. Eyes looking forward. You're going to feel the stretch here. Hamstring. Not carrying any tension in your neck, shoulders, or upper back. Neck is long. Spine is straight. Slowly, slowly, come back up to release. Alternating, bending your knees. After hamstring stretch, quadricep stretch. So inside leg is the standing leg. Shift the weight to the standing leg. Grab a hold of the other foot or ankles. Knees together. We're not opening up the knees. Chin is away from the body, looking forward. You can hold on for support. If you want to turn into balancing, go ahead. Looking at a focal point that doesn't move, either on the floor or at the horizon, that will help you with balancing. When you have enough of it, slowly, slowly release, alternating, bending your knees. And we're going to repeat on the other side. So we're going to shift the weight to the other leg. Grab our other foot or ankles, knees together, take the foot into your hand. Squeeze your abs in tight. You can hold on to support or you can turn into balancing. One more breath and slowly, slowly release, alternating bending your knees. We're gonna work on our butt. Doesn't matter which leg you start, holding onto the chair, bring up the other leg. So if you like to create more resistance, you can grab the long resistance band. So you can do this without equipment as well, no choice. Adjust the length of your band, shift the weight to the standing leg. Bring up the other leg. Small little kick. 
squeeze your butt in tight. Shoulders are relaxed. Engage your core, abdominal muscles. Stay here for four, three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. Switching side. Adjust the length of your band. Shift the weight to the standing leg. Bring up the other leg. Small little kick. Squeeze your butt in tight. Staying here. Four, four, three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. And we'll place one foot into the band. Shift the weight to the standing leg. The other hand hold on to the chair. We're going to lift it up. Down. Side. Down. Back. Down. Doesn't have to be a high kick. Control your movement always. Know your range of motion. Nice and slow control. Now, if you can only bring it up a couple of inches off the ground, that's perfectly fine. Walking the entire leg again. Opening up hip joint, strengthening muscle mass, stretching our hamstrings, engage your core abdominal muscles, and we are also strengthening the standing leg and ankle. One last one. Slowly, slowly release. Switching side. Shift the weight to the standing leg. Inhale up, forward, tap, side, tap, back, tap. Now, if you can only do a few inches off the ground, that's fine. Never push your body to go beyond its limit, especially if it costs you a whole lot of pain and discomfort. Opening up the hip joint, working the entire leg from the hip joint to the foot. Let's do a couple more rounds. And one last one. Slowly, slowly release, alternating, bending your knees. Slowly come out of this. Now we're gonna put the chair aside and we're gonna continue. <clears throat> Keep all your equipment close by. We're going to set ourselves up for the chair pose. So we're going to place both feet into your van, adjust the length. We're going to get this motion going. Legs are here both apart, we're not squeezing the thigh together. Bars to height, you don't have to go very far there. When you're ready, we're gonna add the arms. Single, single first. One at a time. 
slightly tuck the tailbones in to protect your back. Don't push the knee beyond your toes. Let's do double. Now, even if you can just do a few inches at a time, that's fine. Strong arms, strong core, work your legs. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Very good. Slowly, slowly release. Back foot on the band. Coming into a warrior stand. Front knee is 90 degree on top angle. Make sure it doesn't wobble in and out. The other hand, pull it up. Extend. Now, if you find that it's too much slack, I'm just going to adjust the length. Evenly distribute your weight between the two legs. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly release, switching side, back foot on your back. Front knee is 90 degree on top of the ankle between second and third toe. Good solid bottom foundation. When you're ready, pull it up, extend. As long as you feel the resistance, it's good to go. Don't have too much slack in your bag. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Slowly release. Now we're going to place one side on one leg, the other hand on your waist for support. Pull it up, shoulder height. Palm facing down, legs side of both apart, soft knees, you don't have to lock your knees.
Let's do another four. Three. Two. And one, slowly, slowly release. Switching side. One side shorter, hands on waist for support. Soft knees, don't lock your knees. Palm facing down. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Slowly release, both feet on the band, crisscross. We do one at a time first, single, single, up to the shoulder height, soft knees, you don't have to lock your knees. Double. Right, even if you can come up a little bit, that's fine. Let's do another four. Three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. Come out of this. We're going to inhale the arms up. Come into a side bend. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend. Adjust the length of your bend to suit your knees. Inhale, up. Exhale, side bend. Shoulders and hips are level. We're not pulling one hip forward or back. Let's do a couple more. On my last one. Slowly come back to center. Big figure eight. Bigger movement if you like. Go the other way. Slowly, slowly release. Bring it behind you. Side to side. Soft knees, legs are hip water apart. Slowly, slowly release. And now we're going to come and use the yoga mat. So keep all your equipment with you. Take water before you lie down. 
and we're gonna go back to the loop band. Place it. Come lie down on your side. We're gonna go climb shell thrust. Bend your knees, glue the feet together, make yourself comfortable, open shut. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Slowly release. Use your hand as a little hammer. Pat, pat, pat. Release any tension that you may have. Make sure you're patting the main part of your hips and not the bone structure. Slowly move the band further down to your calf. Straighten out the legs, flex the foot, small little open shot. Four, three, two, and one. Slowly release, pat, pat, pat. Swing it, move to the other side. Take your time to set up. Now we're gonna keep the band on the calf first. Straighten out the legs. Flex the feet. Smaller open shaft. Four, three, two, and one. Move it higher up. Getting ready for plank shot. Bend your knees, glue the feet together. Open shot. Four, three, two, and one. Slowly release, pat, pat, pat. And we're gonna lie down on our back. <clears throat> Take your time to set up. Bend both knees. Knees are two feet apart, open up too much. Walk in and close your fingertips. Press firmly on the mat. On the inhale, lift your hip high, high up. Exhale to lower down, one more way at a time. Inhale up, exhale down. Engage your core abdominal muscles, your quadriceps and your glutes are firm. So in other words, squeeze your stomach in tight, your thighs and your butts are firm. Now 
Now we're gonna inhale, arms up, hip up. Exhale, lower everything down. Strengthening the front abdominal muscles and the lower back muscles to support your spine, especially if you have back pain. Inhale one way, exhale the other. When you come up, all the way is in the shoulder, wherever the weight's in the head and neck. Chin is almost touching the chest, stimulating thyroid gland. Let's do two more. And one last one. Slowly, slowly come back down. Where is your wiper? Hip release. Hips can come off. Knees don't necessarily have to touch the mat. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Doing some leg lifts. So we're going to move the band to the calf. Legs up to the sky. Flex the feet. And down by your side. Palm facing down. Let the blood circulate back to your heart. Stretching our hamstrings. Increase immunity. Improve digestion sleep quality, overall wellness. And when you're ready, we're gonna do three rounds of leg lift. First round, lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, two, when your legs are one feet off the ground, bend both knees, lift the legs back up to the sky, take a breath here. Second round, lower down for seven, six, Five, four, three, two, don't drop it. Bend both knees, lifting the legs back up to the sky. Take a breath here. Last round, lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, all the way down. And we can come out off the bed. So a little bit of cool down here. We're gonna to come to a spinal twist. Left foot on right thigh, opposite hand, guiding the top knee. As close to the floor as possible. Feel free to extend the top leg. Left arm out shoulder height. Palm facing down. Hips automatically comes off. Shoulder, shoulder blade, upper back is still on the mat. Turn a little bit of the left side if your neck is good. One more breath and we'll slowly, slowly bring everything back to the center. Straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times. I'm going to do a spinal twist on the other side. Left hand guiding the right knee as close to the floor as possible. Feel free to extend the top leg. Right arm out shoulder height, palm facing down. Turn over the right side if your neck is good. Hips automatically come on. Stretching our lower back muscles creating spaces between L4 and L5. Slowly, come back to center. Bend both knees, hands on knee, knee to chest, rocking side to side, coming into a big circular motion if you like, covering a big area, massaging lower back and sacrum. Knee to chest also help you to relieve back pain. And reverse. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Happy baby. Bend both knees, opening up the hip, holding on to any part of the legs. Rocking side to side, massaging the entire spine, the entire back, opening up hip joints. Happy baby, 
also help people to relieve back pain. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Release. Bring the sole of your feet together. Let the knee fall to form a diamond shape. And down by your side, palm facing down. Close your eyes. Like gravity, bless this job to open up the hip joint, stretching our inner thighs. Keeping a natural curve in your lower back. Relax for a moment. Slowing down the heartbeat. Focusing on your breathing. When you inhale, body and chest rise like balloon. And when you exhale, draw the belly button back to the spine. Slowly bring the knees together, drop them to the right side, raise the right arm, roll over to the right side, making a pillow of the right tricep. And when you're ready, use your top arm to push yourself up. Coming into a comfortable seated position. So we've come to the end of the workout. I hope you feel stretched, you feel strong. So we're gonna end the class now. Thank you very much for joining me sharing your energy with all of us and letting me guide for his workout. Always my pleasure.